everybody. Welcome to the Sunday live stream. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Well, usually there's not much uh, news going on besides the rumblings of what's happening in the government and uh, different aspects of the crypto market. What I want to do is just take a look at altcoin season and when it could potentially be uh, here. And I got to tell you, I think uh, altcoin season is actually here right now. And what I am talking about is there is this great chart over at Ben's website. And on this channel, we try to steal as much information as we possibly can. And we, uh, we're we breaking records of stealing as much as we possibly uh, do from uh, Ben's website. And what this is, is the altcoin season index. There's actually two pieces to it. There's this crazy looking thing, which we'll get into in a second, and then an altcoin index season uh, with values. And to uh, break it down, the altcoin index is defined as the amount of the top 50 alts that have a 90-day return of investment or ROI greater than Bitcoin. Obviously, what we're trying to do is what's the point of getting into all these alts if Bitcoin just crushes them, right? There's no reason for that. I think there actually is. And then <clears throat> whenever less than 25% of alts have a 90-day ROI greater than Bitcoin, we say it's Bitcoin season. So less than a quarter of alts have a 90-day ROI, Bitcoin's brewing. Because then Bitcoin's outperforming. If more than three quarters of 75% of altcoins have a 90 day ROI greater than Bitcoin, then we call it alt season. So essentially it goes like this. If you got three out of four alts and they're outperforming Bitcoin over 90 days, alt season. If you got one out of four or less outperforming Bitcoin, Bitcoin season. Makes sense? Makes sense. I think it's uh, not, too, not too difficult to grasp. So uh, this, of course, the last 90 days, of a Bitcoin 90 day ROI is 49%. So remember that number, 49.08%. That's your ROI for the last 90 days of Bitcoin, 49%. All right. So if we take a look here and we're taking a look at, well, which ones have beaten them? Because right here in this white section is the Bitcoin ROI, right? That's the, that's, that's the bellwether. That's where we're at. And how many coins have outdone them or outdone Bitcoin? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 out of 50. So not 75%, right? It's not 75%. So it's an altcoin season. That's the truth. But look at these numbers. And of course, you got to understand that the two of them are pretty much meme coins, Floki and Pepe. <laughs> Four and 20%. That's nothing to laugh at. I shouldn't be laughing. Congratulations, Pepe and Floki holders. Good for you. The next two, not surprisingly, Deepin and AI plays. Arweave, file storage. Fetch AI, AI. Fetch AI, AI. 220%, 239% respectively. That's pretty good. Shiba Inu, 151%. And Stacks. I like Stacks. It's an, it's an L2 protocol built on Bitcoin. So, I mean, yeah, Bitcoin, I mean, stacks outperform, but it is in the Bitcoin ecosystem. So it's something to take a look at. Render, D-Pin, AI, Maker, DAO Maker, sure. Tuncoin, which is doing great, of course, with the Telegram. BitTensor, AI, and so on down the road, right? Great. You can look at this. Fantastic. And of course, Ethereum hasn't done it. ICP, Ethereum Classic, Solana. It's interesting. So that's what we have as far as those numbers. Now, what I want to show you is this. Confusing, right? I don't blame you. Looks crazy. A lot of squiggly lines, a lot of mumbo jumbo. This is why I'm not big into TA, because I look at this, and I'm like, my eyes just glaze over. Let's make it simple for us, mostly for me. You're probably smarter than me. But what I like to do is colors and colors. And what we just did is I added on the Bitcoin season range, which you can see right here in green in the lower parts, and the altcoin season range, which is in red. And when I take a look at this, to me, this kind of looks like friends of the show over there looking to Bitcoin. This is the MVRV Z score. This is the market value versus the realized value, and the Z score kind of takes out all the noise. And what I like about this is it, it's very simple, right? You've got some stuff down here in green, you should buy Bitcoin. And you got some stuff over here in red, you might want to think about selling Bitcoin. That's it. And it goes into some numbers and it's great, right? I mean, we can get into it, but we've talked about this ad nauseum. I'm not, a, not going to delve into that. That's the MVRVZ score. It's one of the indicators I'm looking at when I'm actually going to sell my 
crypto. So going back in the altcoin season, and we take a look at that same thing, right? When it gets in the red, this is altcoin season. This is when things get crazy. This is when you start to think to yourself, hey, you know, this is the season. And, and of course, the numbers will go up. And I'm very happy because I invested into XYZ coin. And I'm a genius because only I figured it out and so on and so forth. And I get you, right? You are. Congratulations. And then, of course, down here, this is when you probably, what it's looking like is Bitcoin season, right? I want to buy Bitcoin. But here's the thing. Every time we're talking about MVRV Z score, and it goes down here, and we're talking about when we're buying, like this is when I want to buy. I don't want to buy when Bitcoin's up here. Why do I want to buy when Bitcoin's like at its all-time highs or, or going up there? The time to buy are down in these areas, or at least in this, this middle area before it gets a little bit too overheated, right? And it's the same thing over here with altcoin season. When I take a look at this, people say, well, it's not altcoin season, so why am I buying? What do you mean why are you buying? What do you mean? The time, look, this can't be financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you that most of the people that make most of the money are the ones that were brave enough, like you watching this video, who actually got into the bear market and said, I don't care how low this goes. I'm going to either lump sum or dollar cost average. I'm going to keep buying because I believe in this XYZ product. Now, that doesn't mean that all products are going to go up, right? Obviously. But when I take a look at these things and I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, when is a good time to buy? I'm like, this kind of, well, the best time to buy, obviously, was 2022. Second, well, the worst time to buy is never, I think. And of course, now that I'm looking at this, as far as we're going for all coin season, see how it, it went? I mean, it was pretty high in January 2024, right? Looking at it like this. Because, I mean, everything was blowing up and we had a lot of things that were happening. Obviously, the ETF came off, so everybody was happy. But now look how far down we're at. We're at 42. 42.86. Bitcoin price is still at 65,000. Bitcoin price over here when we were in alt season was 40,000. Just saying that if I'm thinking about, man, maybe I should, should I get into alts? Well, it's up to you, but I'm just saying, I don't, not a big fan of buying alts in this red area. I'm more of a fan of buying alts when they're super cheap, but maybe I'm looking at it differently or differently wrong. And before we move on to the next section, I just want to tell you that like this, this point here, let me go down to September 1st. Here's the 8th, 3rd. 1st of September, 2023. See how it was squarely in the green section, which would have been Bitcoin season, right? Outperform everything else. Yeah, Bitcoin would probably outperform you know, in the short term, I think the long term, some of the things will do well. So case in point, 1st of September, 2023, 1st of September, 2023. So we talked about my portfolio here, which is just a jumbled mashup of, of crazy altcoins, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Sol, Near, Cardano, Wavex, Link, Stacks, Arbitrum, Mutable, Injectable, Cosmos, Polygon, and 67 other altcoins. That's a lot. But you got to remember, I've been in the game for quite some time. So there's something I really should have unloaded. I didn't. But if you own it, chances are we're probably doing the same thing. But what I did, and we used to do this every Sunday, and we got away from it because other things came up. But we used a DCA simulation. And what I said is, okay, I said, okay, on September 1st, 2023, we're going to start. I'm going to start to show you the profit and losses. And what I and the idea in my head was to show you that yes, you're going to take losses in in this dollar cost average game, because that's just how it is. Because you're gonna you're gonna put money into these wacky alts, you know, like Chainlink and the stuff, things we just talked about, and it's gonna go down, and you're gonna feel bad, but it's okay because over time, you know, some will actually go up, not all, but some will go up. And the reason why I picked September 1st is because historically speaking, September is the worst month for cryptonigial assets, historically. If we take a look at September in 2022, it was negative two, negative seven. It was most of the months is in red. There was like three green months. I'm like, perfect. I'm gonna show everybody what a genius I am and I'm gonna show them just how low it can go. And then everybody will be like, okay, I get it. So it's a lot of pain and it's good. Problem was, was that in September, it was actually a green month, which is crazy, but it was. So it didn't really work out like I wanted it to. 
However, let's take a look at what we did. So again, altcoins, we just took a look at the altcoin season and you know you can decide when you want it to be. I put all the big the big guns in here that uh, I have, Ethereum, Solana, Doge, ADA, AVAX, Link, Matic, Near, Stax, Cosmos, Arbitrum, Mutable, Injective. And we came back here and I said, okay, I'm gonna put 10 bucks a day because here's the thing about altcoin season. Whatever you've been doing, first of all, if you're here, you're not a tourist. I'm expecting those people to come very soon. But if you're here right now, you've already probably lump summed. You've probably dollar cost average. You've probably bought the dip. So at this point in the investments, I don't know if you're like me or unlike me, but maybe you're like, I've only got so much money I can put in because I've been doing this for a couple of years now, right? And of course, you know, we have jobs, we have investments, we have things that come in, but maybe you don't have that ability to just dump $100,000 into some crazy token because you're like, ah, I've been buying Bitcoin or I've been buying Ethereum or I've been buying whatever. I think at this point, you're probably like, uh, probably dollar cost average. Now, I'm sure there's some people out there like, hey, I got $10 million to dump. Okay, that's, uh, we're not the same. But if we take a look here and we're just dollar cost averaging and we put 10 bucks into all these things, if we come across it, again, the idea was to show you losses and I screw that up because for some reason, September was a good month. I was just like, yeah, I guess things are gonna go up. All those 10 or 10 that did go down. And then of course here, a little red, and then we're off for the races. Pretty good, right? Yeah, a lot of green, a lot of green, everybody's happy. Ah, 2023. Actually worked out pretty well, I must, I gotta admit. But, so here we are today. And yeah, again, if we take a look at the things that we invested into, just 10 bucks a day, that'd have been 1800 bucks, $1,830, right? And doing that over time, you will notice that even though we weren't in the altcoin season, I don't want to be in altcoin season yet. I want to be in, I guess, altcoin fall, winter. I don't, I don't know how to say it, but I don't want it to really blow up yet because I'm still dollar cost averaging. I'm still buying in. I'm still thinking that, uh, you know, there could be a little bit more dips along the way before we really take off. So this is the time that I think for me, not for you, you do whatever you want to do. This is still a good time, but still we're doing pretty good, right? $1,800 or 10 bucks a day. Uh, you'd be up 363% on stacks. On Solana, 313%. Near 277, AVAX, Immutable, Injectable, Doge. Okay, great. That's seven. However, Bitcoin is pretty much right in the middle. Bitcoin. And I don't know if you invested into, I don't know what else is out there, but I'm sure, I mean, there's plenty of things that didn't do this well. We all know there's tons of different cryptos, especially in the top 200, 300, 400 that just went to zero or dropped 95%. So this is just my example. But Bitcoin is number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then you've only got one, two, three, four, five. You got six underneath it that didn't do as hot. So you would have been just as good buying into Bitcoin. However, however, I think, I still think as we go into the next part of this leg, I still don't think Bitcoin will outperform not all the alts, but a percentage of alts. And even if Bitcoin, what is it? Where are we at? 65, let's say we're at 65,000. Let's say we get to 130,000, that's double, right? Do you think Stacks can't double? Do you think Sol can't double? I think Near, AVAX, Mutable X, Injectable, Dogecoin can't double? Depends on the market cap, right? And then we go from there. So I'm just saying that, you know, if you wanna be safe, like, I mean, let's be honest, look at this portfolio. It's not like I'm rolling in meme coins. Uh, Bitcoin is still the majority here, but I'm just saying that for me, when I look at these things, I'm like, Sometimes I want to be a little risky because there's some outside gains. Anyhow, let me know what you think about that in the comments section. And just to finish up before we get into the, uh, the q and I still do think that some of the big projects are still yet to be uncovered. And this is what we call like the, this is what we call the Goldilocks zone. This is the last having was in uh, May 11th, May 12th, somewhere around there in 2020. And you can see that some of the things that were launched did massive, right? Luna was massive, 
until it totally collapsed. And that's the thing. You got to be careful. Polygon, Matic, Axie, Solana, AVEX, Gala, SAN, Sheeb, all that good stuff, right? So if you're looking for like, and these, and when these came out, I remember when some of these came out, like that's, I, I would, I would hear about, it, I wouldn't even pay attention because there was just so many out there. I mean, how can you keep track? It's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. And there's a lot of things coming out right now. I get at least three offers a day to talk about X, Y, Z project or this or that, or this or that. And uh, I don't do too many reviews, but if you're looking for reviews on new stuff, Dan Degen, link in the description. And if uh, you'd like to see like how they've done so far, these are all the videos that I've done on Dan Degen. There is a link in the description and it says 5% Degen plays under strategies. And it will take you to this spreadsheet. And I take a look at all the different ones that I've talked on Dan Degen and I've invested into. I've shown you how much I've invested into it what the all-time highs were, what the price today is, the X gained and the investment all-time highs and what the investment's worth now. I haven't, I'm not perfect, right? Like you can take a look at Genso Kishi and you will notice on these, like the, the review date of when I got into it, it wasn't during altcoin season. It wasn't when things were blowing up. It was when it was kind of crappy. Like December, 2021, wasn't that great, but I got into Genso Kishi, $5,000, and I bought it for a penny and a half and it went up to $1.60. So that's a pretty good investment. Today it's worth four cents though. So just remember that what goes up must come down. Everdome 0 0.005 went up, which was a fraction of a penny, went up to eight cents, but today it's worth like nothing, 0 0.0006. Fame is probably my worst one. Got it in a penny, went up to 47 cents. That's pretty good. <laughs> Now it's worth a fraction of a penny, nothing. And Sweatcoin, basically a stable coin. <laughs> Got in at a penny and a penny and a half, penny, a penny and four, 0 0.014. And now it's worth 0 0.013. So not too great. But the recent ones, and you'll notice that like, again, these are in 2022. 2022 is not a great time. That was the bear market. And that's when I think all the money is made. And then recently. We got into Farcana, Ivanpay, Exborg, and Alvara. And Farcana went from a penny to 13 cents. That's pretty good. Ivanpay, two and a half, two and a half cents to eight cents. Exborg is on out, and Alvara, three cents, or 30 cents, excuse me, to 245. And not bad. And then the next one we're going to talk about is Minutes Network, which you can find that over there. Aether, IONet, and Rainmaker, which are all D-Pin AI plays. So again, links in the description. That's the new stuff. And that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive. And I'll just remind you that, of course, as we get into coming up to the halving, which I think we're under 28 days now. Uh, things only accelerate. So if you got to take off, take off. Appreciate the day. I'm glad you guys stopped by.